So easiest way you will get the drivers for your particular motherboard is to search it online here and then put the word driver next to it and then the first result that comes up will put you on the MSI um, page for downloading your driver and then from here you can go ahead and click on the download button here and it will download the particular driver that you have for your motherboard. Now if you're not sure what motherboard is currently in your system you can uh, type in MSI Center and you can download that application and then what you can do is when you launch MSI Center you'll be here on the hardware and monitor page but to find out the motherboard that you have you will go over to support then you will click on system info and here is the model that you're currently looking for so you would put MAG V650 Tomahawk Wi-Fi you would put that into your favorite search engine put the word driver after it and away you go and you will have the driver that you need once you currently have the driver let's go ahead and extract this now we're going to extract this and we're going to extract this to the c drive and currently we have our nice little folder here with the file that we're looking for so the file that we're looking for is this one right here. This is what we're going to use to flash our BIOS. So now that we have the file, the next thing we need is a USB drive. Now I have a small little USB drive here inserted into my computer, but we're going to need to format this in a particular, well, we're gonna to need to have this in a particular format. So let's go ahead and right click, let us click format. We are going to need FAT32 and let's go ahead and start and we are going to format this disk here so that's done let's close this off launch this back and now what we are going to do is we're going to go back to that extracted folder and we are going to find the bios file that we need we're going to right click we are in windows 11 so we're going to click show more options send to and we are going to send this to our usb drive All right, so now that that's all done, let's go ahead and restart the computer. And we are going to go into our BIOS now. All right, so now that we've restarted our computer and we are now into the MSI BIOS, uh, you can do that by clicking on the delete key multiple times after you restart your computer. One of the main things we want to note right here is the current BIOS build version that we have. We have November 23rd, 2023, uh, right up above that. That is the BIOS version. So we are going to be updating that right now. So let's get this thing set back here. And then if you're already in the advanced section, which is what we currently are, just take your mouse and move up here and let's go into the easy mode. And then what you'll want to do is come on over here to the left hand side and select this option here that says M dash flash. All right, so let's go ahead and enter that mode by clicking yes. All right, so now computer is going to go ahead and restart and it will go into that mode here for us. All right, so now we are back and you see here it has currently found the correct file for us. So we're going from I believe it was November 2023, sometime in November to, we are going to, I believe this is sometime in June. So let's go ahead and select that file. Yes, this is the version that we want to update. So we are updating to the latest and greatest and it will go ahead here and it will continue the process for updating the BIOS. So might take a couple minutes, it's at 2% right now, and we'll come back once it's all done. All right, so it's just uh, finished here. It's going to go ahead and do the reboot. All right, so it looks like mine was successful because it booted up into Windows. So let's go ahead and let's do another manual reboot here. We are now back into the BIOS and you can see here that our build version date, uh, sorry, our BIOS version and our BIOS build date has all updated. And we are now running the 
latest and greatest version of the BIOS for our MSI motherboard, uh, motherboard at the time of this recording, obviously. So that's how you go ahead and do the BIOS uh, update. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will try to do my absolute best to answer them for you.